children of the 20 pounds. 20 pounds to each uh, student. Let them decide where they want to spend this money to help others. Whether you call it charity, whether you help them, only helping others, you can buy the kit for you also, if you think, but not for the children. And this is a five girls team. And there is a program where everybody will write how how we spend that 20 pounds. Can you be it's a 2,000 rupees? Yes. Yeah. So um, uh, 2,000 rupees. Let's and how do you spend? Everybody is going to spend well when you are looking to have a background. But it's nice to have a competition. These five girls will decide. I am requesting principal here. I will make this for uh, for me. So the uh, five girls will decide who are the five best uh, students have to put this money for the best use. Helping us. So I'll give you another story. When I went to England, I find that we have about uh, 16, 17 lakhs Indian living. Thank you. 
resources, the capital that are, then we, we can build many things. You know, we can build tall buildings, we can build hospitals like we do, and we can do multiple things. But to give so much of time, thought, effort, energy, passion, into building something for the future of our country, I think is truly commendable. And uh, I must say that uh, I have really never seen anything like this. So I uh, thank you, uh, thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to be with all of you today. And uh, I would like to say that I was, I was laughing, uh, telling him that I also went to a school in this side of town. And it was the Western Dragon School and it was Karakshi Floor, which was not too far from her. And we were only six children in the class. And at that time we sat on the floor and we listened to our teachers. And the maths we had was probably black or a chalk. And this is a paper or pen. And you know, our handwriting was not too bad. So, so that's how we learned. And in the same part of the city, uh, it was just sound like it's, it's like a future, you know, it's like looking into the future. It's changed so much. And to me, I think uh, for us to see that, just to capture the journey of how this has changed and how the future has happened, uh, I think we should be so grateful that you know, we are able to see it. It, uh, it gives me a, a sense of pride to be able to see that something which is beyond world class, you know, we all be Indians love to say things are world class, but when you create something which is a bit beyond world class, because you know, I know that my grandchildren go to a school in the UK, and I have seen those schools, and they're fantastic, there's no doubt about it. But when you see something like this, I don't think this is available in, in, your, in many locations, even though the robot came from France. But I don't think, you know, children in the city like Chennai have access to that kind of knowledge. While AI is kind of growing at leaps and bounds, and we use it in every aspect of our lives. And all of us can't live without our smartphones anymore, and we know that. And AI kind of controls the way we work, the way we think, the way we eat, the way we exercise, the way we meditate also, by the way. So I think, you know, the AI has controlled a large part of our lives. But it's back by machine learning and machine will kind of uh, lead you in the right path, which is a good thing. And if children are not equipped to use their wisely, if children don't understand it from a very young age, sometimes they may be caught by what somebody else is telling them. And I think, so the deep science of what has happened to the age is something for all of us to think about. But you know, if they are taught at this age, if they are exposed at this age to technology, they will be able to control technology. You know, they will not be the slaves of technology. They will be the masters of what they want. And I think that is what we have done today. I don't know, I'm not in this team. I don't know if they realize that. But uh, what happens is that that is what has happened. You know, there's been a fundamental shift in the way things are done. So I think all of us, of course, have a share of goal to do whatever we can to see that the future of you know, our children, our grandchildren, and our kids are, is the best and we are exposed to whatever we can you know, give them. And this, I think, fulfills uh, that vision, that ask, um, because what it is going to be doing is really building uh, scientists in a way of the future because they will be so well equipped. It will be masters of the universe because they will have learned the art at a very young age. Uh, the art of navigation will become something which is almost automatic. And I think that, that is, uh, is, is a great gift to all of them. So I just want to say that I'm absolutely delighted to be here. And I think that one, uh, one, uh, you know, one school for you is not enough. We should uh, have a network of uh, Surana High Tech Schools. And then for the trustees, I think in the 40th year, we have really, apart from nurturing so many children and future generations, we have also now led the path to, to uh, leapfrog them into the next century. And for that, we are extremely grateful. So thank you all, and I hope you have a wonderful
Um, so we would like every image of every one of these five components in there that has been brought in by the information that um, was accessible to the library. And that being said, I would like to invite and uh, honor the outcome of the uh, you know, team and its actually now listed there. The Stephen Hathaway was in the UK, not here. But uh, Mr. Arvind, the uh, uh, architect in there, Mr. Arvind, will you please come up, sir? Thank you. 